Good, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it's my pleasure to make this presentation of uh, uh, Artificial Intelligence and Intelligent Systems Lab of CINI, CINI's Consorzio Interuniversitario Nazionale per l'Informatica. Um, my name is Daniele Nardi and I am a professor at Sapienza University of Rome. Um, let me start by showing what is the uh, area uh, covered by CINI. Um, we started recently, as we see, uh, we'll see in a second. And as you see, we, we, have, we span across uh, um, AI from uh, uh, manifold points of view, including machine learning, computer vision, game theory, automated reasoning, logics, uh, speech recognition, natural language, you name it. And you can see it on this, including uh, big data and techniques for managing and working on big data. Actually, uh, the creation of uh, our lab was uh, really relatively recent. And in fact, I want uh, to say a couple of words in order to place the laboratory in the, in the national context. There are associations for computer vision, logic programming, artificial intelligence, and also more uh, recently for computational linguistics. And CINI is uh, sort of uh, 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 building from uh, many of these uh, research community, which uh, represent various aspects and various areas uh, within artificial intelligence and to try to create a national coordination for artificial intelligence. And there are, this comes after Italy launched its, uh, its initiatives in, uh, in to, to keep the pace with that artificial intelligence uh, development or worldwide. So after the first initiatives, we created our lab in uh, 2018. Uh, in June, and uh, this is supported, endorsed by the Department of Information and Security of the Presidents of the Ministry of Council, thus recognizing the strategic importance of artificial intelligence for nation. What is our mission? Uh, our mission is, first of all, to strengthen and uh, um, try to coordinate and build a, a coherent uh, uh, development of AI research. And in particular, we want to support this, the collaboration between research and industry, and also to address all the impacts towards the Italian society, and in particular, national security. In fact, uh, the coordinate, coordination at the national level, it's uh, the main keyword behind our activities. We are uh, a large community, at this point, we are a network of 54 uh, nodes, uh, 49 of them being um, in universities and the others being in uh, research centers. Um, so as you see from the map, the picture is uh, quite uh, distributed across the nation from a geographic standpoint. Here is the list of uh, uh, people that are currently in charge of this, uh, of uh, supporting the director, Professor Rita Cucchiara from the University of Modena and Reggio Emilia. And um, I am <coughs> among, of them, among them. And uh, here are the numbers. We have more than 700 members. We have uh, several labs, uh, spin-off, uh, research projects. We have been trying to collect uh, the amount of activity that is being carried out by the people who signed up for being, and by the nodes who signed up for being part of this network. And in fact, it is amazing to realize how much activity there is in AI research in Italy. Here is uh, the result of, of our first survey on <clears throat> active members. Uh, concerning the various topics that are addressed by our research. Of course, uh, the deep learning and machine learning stands up uh, uh, because everyone um, wants to develop uh, this, uh, make developments in this area nowadays. 
And it is also interesting to observe from this point of view that also data analysis and data mining has a quite a substantial uh, number of active people. However, we also cover, uh, it's important to see the, the depth of some areas, but also the breadth that we can cover with our activities. Uh, <clears throat> this is more uh, uh, related to the results that we obtained uh, in our first uh, national gathering, which uh, took place uh, in Rome uh, last March, uh, about one year ago. And I had the pleasure and the duty of being the organizer of this event. And we collectively decided to arrange this event across a vertical domain. So we had several workshops, uh, uh, as a matter of fact, um, more than 10, uh, each of them uh, um, uh, arranged along one specific domain. So we had a, a artificial intelligence for agriculture and food, for cybersecurity, for education, and also for space with the participation of ESA. We do have a number of projects uh, uh, that are started from the laboratory itself. Uh, researchers that um, are connected with the lab have the option to uh, do the, the project work together with the other colleague nodes um, in, um, together and uh, to place administratively this workshop within uh, our laboratory. This is an interesting option because it allows us to go uh, participate in European projects as uh, networks of Italian universities thus um, and being represented by one single um, partner in a consortium which is going to be the, the Cini, Lab Cini laboratory. There are many other projects and in particular I want to mention that uh, the recent uh, ICT 48H2020 had uh, three projects with a significant involvement of the laboratory and as far as I can tell at least two of them have been uh, funded or actually are going to be funded because this is uh, fresh news. Um, we have several international activities uh, connecting uh, Italy to many other countries. Um, you see them listed uh, in this uh, slide. And I want to specifically point out the Italy-UK coordination, which after the Brexit is going to have a, a special uh, attention. And we were planning to have a workshop on March 18-19 here in Rome for uh, discussing the possible developments in artificial intelligence and robotics in particular. Unfortunately, also this event has been canceled and postponed to a later date due to the current situation. We have a connection with many national um, uh, initiatives and in particular, we are um, several members of our laboratory are part of the Italian Ministry of Development uh, expert group, which is elaborating a strategy for AI. We also, there is a, a similar initiative from the Ministry of uh, um, University now. And additionally, there is a, a, a PhD program in artificial intelligence, which hopefully is about to start. And so, as you see, we are strongly connected with uh, all the institutional uh, institutions in Italy. And as a last step, we have uh, recently developed a um, document which uh, summarizes our views on the uh, possible strategies and developments for uh, Italy, Italian research in AI, in artificial intelligence to place Italy at a proper uh, place um, in the technological development of artificial intelligence. This clearly needs investments and we, we hope and we see that our institutions are uh, very focused on this topic. 
Um, we have been, there are a number of uh, calls that we are addressing. In particular, I am personally involved in ICT 49 and we are open and our members and our networks are open to create collaborations and to create uh, consortia for uh, the, um, uh, these calls and for future calls uh, in, in the areas of interest of this workshop. And not the least, I want to mention one of the initiatives which is uh, uh, currently run by uh, one of our members, in particular our director, Professor Kukiara, she is the, the chair of this the International Conference on Pattern Recognition, which is going to take place hopefully in Milan next uh, September. And you are all, all warmly invited to take uh, part of it and uh, submit papers. I think the deadline is about to close. And let me finish, finish by providing the references to our uh, laboratory and uh, I will be happy to give more information or to um, uh, drive uh, your requests to uh, the members of our lab that uh, may be more interested in uh, uh, collaborating with you and, uh, and answering your uh, inquiries. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. Um, uh, good afternoon and I'll talk to you in the panel. Bye.